we are going to walk through a few rotations with the libero replacements. We're going to pretend like this is the beginning of the match and the down ref's doing the lineup check and we have actually two liberos. They're different colors here for the sake of being able to tell the difference. But in a real match, they'll be wearing the same color jersey, which would be contrasting with the rest of the team. So in this case, down ref said the libero can replace M1 in the back. We are going to play a little bit. We're going to rotate. We are going to play a little bit more. We're going to rotate. Now the libero is in position four. Libero cannot play front row. So the libero has to be replaced by the M1. Or since the libero has not served yet, the libero can go back and serve for M2. But in a normal just libero replacement, it would look like this. M1 replaces libero. But let's say we do want our libero to go replace the M2. M2 would roll off, M1 would go to the front row. We see this pretty common in most teams using a libero. So then we're going to play a little bit more. Then we're going to rotate. We're going to play a little bit more. We're going to rotate again. We're going to play a little bit more and then we're going to rotate again. The libero will be in position four again. This time the libero has already served for M2. The libero cannot serve for M1 now. The libero can only serve in one position. That position is now for the M2. So the libero has to be replaced by the M2 in this case. After the M1 serves, the libero can go back in for M1, replace the M1, and that's what we're going to do. But let's say we don't want our libero to go back in for the M1. Let's say we want the libero to go in for a different position. We're going to bring the M1 back. And what we could do after a rally is just uh, have the libero go in for the outside or right side uh, here in the back row. But we're going to wait a little bit. Our passers are doing pretty good. So we're going to play. We're going to rotate. And now we're going to have our libero replace the outside. And you notice it's a different libero. They act as the same person. Um, different numbers, but they are considered the same person in volleyball. So now the libero is in for outside two. We're going to play a little bit, and then we're going to rotate, and the libero is going to be in position four again. The libero has to re be replaced by the outside two in this case. So that's what we're going to do. O2 is going to replace the libero. We're going to play a little bit. We're going to rotate. And now we want our libero to serve for M2. That's where the libero could serve if you wanted them to. So libero is going to replace the M2. We're going to play a little bit. We're going to rotate. We're going to bring our M2 back in. Now, in this case, we took them out. We were thinking about replacing either the O1 or the right side with the libero. We just have to wait one rally. We don't necessarily have to wait a whole side out. We just have to wait one rally before the libero can replace another position. We're going to wait in this case, uh, side out, so we're gonna rotate, and then we're gonna put our libero in for the right side. It doesn't matter which libero it is. And then we're going to play, and then we're going to rotate, and then we're going to play, and then we're going to rotate again. Libero is back in position four, so the right side is the only position that can replace the libero at this time. That's what we're going to do. And now we're at the top of our lineup. But uh, Normally we had been replacing the M1 with the libero, but since the libero just came off, they have to wait one rally, not a side out, but in this case we're gonna wait just a side out. Libero is gonna go back in for the M1. Then we're gonna play a little bit, and then we're going to rotate. Libero needs to be replaced by the M1, or the libero can serve for M2 in this case, which is what we're going to do. And that's it.